gathering up some shit to put these Pro Top Line 220 heads back together. Get them ready for use. But this engine getting a rather large roller cam. It already had a large roller cam, but I'm trying another one. But I got thinking about with all the lifter failures and flat tappet cams going flat on people and scaring everybody away from that shit. Everybody wanted to go roller and noticed a lot of people think you just stick a roller cam in there and button it up and you're good to go. But unfortunately, there's a whole lot of other shit that goes with it. You can build an engine with a hydraulic roller and it's relatively painless, especially if you use a late model block that's already got the provisions for the spider and shit. But you can only go so far with a hydraulic roller. So if you want to spin that fucker up, you know, 8,000 plus RPM, you're going to need a solid roller. Kind of like this unit right here. That's a crane. That's a crane big motherfucker series. It's 650 lift, solid roller. But you don't just stick a cam like that in an engine and away you go. All the shit that goes with it has got to be strong as hell. For example, your valves better be top-notch good shit you try to run some china valves with a big solid roller you know it ain't gonna work for very long same with the springs you try to use some low tension bullshit springs with a big solid roller cam it ain't gonna work too good So you got to buy some springs with serious pressure to keep that shit together at high RPMs, kind of like these. Some of PSI springs, ISKI titanium retainers and Manton 10 degree locks. And the exhaust valves are Dale West. The intake valves are Manly. And the lifters I'm using are the horizontal bar pop up style crane. The shit's going in these. Pro top line 220 heads that I've had forever. I've been sitting around collecting dust. But, um, put this engine back together. It blew a head gasket on me years ago, so I gotta. I'm gonna take about 12 thousandths off the decks of these fuckers. And put them back together with this shit. Short block back together, and there's the induction system. But it'll make some power. But uh, that much valve spring pressure, these fuckers are like 275. 
closed at two inch installed height and over 700 open that much valve spring pressure if you try to run them in some heads with shitty seats they'll beat the fucking seats right out of them heads so even the heads you put them in got to be stout enough to withstand the pressure they're going to be under so you got to make sure all your shit is strong as hell same goes with the timing chain I'm using a roll master double roller timing chain they're kind of fucking pricey but they're good but all this shit this engine should produce over 600 horse no problem in a That's what it takes to run a big old fat ass solid roller in your shit. If you want to turn it up, make some big power with a old school NA small block. Shit's been done for years. Ain't nothing new. But like I said, you gotta have top notch shit to run the big fat fucking solid roller if not you'll find out quick what's not good enough the titanium retainers set you back but they're so fucking light and strong money well spent There's the shit for the Pro Top Line 220 heads.